Agent Gary. Special Agent in Charge McMillan. It's nice to see your new office. Congratulations for your new position. Operation Fat Man was a huge success. Mr. Thomas is in jail for good now. Mia is also in jail because of her involvement. Agent Yuki Yamamoto did an amazing job. So, Agent Gary, what brings you by? A young woman named Emily complained about her mother's death at St. Martin Hospital. Her mother was admitted with a severe headache and died the next day. The autopsy shows that Emily's mother had a high level of insulin, but she wasn't diabetic. All right. I will assign this investigation to you. You will work alongside Agent Yamamoto. Do whatever it takes to solve this case. You have my full support. But you will face a lot of trouble. Big hospitals are like large corporations. They hired the best attorneys in the world. And lots of politicians defend them. Good luck to you and Yamamoto. You're dismissed. Code Blue The patient went into cardiac arrest. Don't just stand there doing nothing. Bring the AED. I'm starting CPR. We need to save this patient's life. I'm not going to lose any patients under my watch. Now my first day. You're hurting his chest. He might die because of it. We have no other choice. I have to keep trying. I have to bring him back to life. His life is in our hands. I have the defibrillator. Connect the defibrillator pads. We can't waste time. Let's try again. We can't give up. He's dead. There is no vital signs. There is nothing else we can do. You did everything you could. You're an amazing nurse. Time of death, 1.52 a.m.
Charlie, what happened? Why do you look sad? I lost a patient last night. I'm really sorry to hear that. Who was it? Jeffrey, the patient who had bypass surgery. Oh no. I can't believe he didn't make it. The surgery went so well. Natalie, Charlie, Ms. Langford want to see you in her office. I'm really sorry for your loss. These things can happen after a heart surgery. But we were informed the surgery was a success. They told us that he would recover. His heart just stopped. There was nothing else we could do. This is devastating. He was like a father to me. How did his heart just stop? Perhaps the surgery was too much for him. We need your consent to perform an autopsy. There's no need for an autopsy. It was his heart. The family will have him cremated. So, last night we lost patient Jeffrey. Charlie, you did an amazing job. You followed the protocol at all times. No wonder you were highly recommended by St. Martin Hospital. Thank you, Ms. Langford. I didn't expect to lose a patient on my first day. These things can happen with anyone. Natalie, you were the last nurse to give him medication. According to the patient's record, you gave him oxycodone. That's right. I administered pain medication according to Dr. Henry's request. As I can see from the timing, he passed away before Charlie had a chance to give him medication. There is no problem on that. Charlie, Sorry to keep you after your shift. Natalie, this week you're going to work with Charlie on the night shift. You can finish your morning shift at 9.30 and come back for your night shift. All right, Miss Langford. You can go now. <laughs> 